Now, I don't know if it's just me, but there seems to have been a bit of a resurgence in using analogue cameras and VTXs for drones and wings. Obviously, there's all the extreme low latency that you get, but I have to say that I find the breakup of analogue systems is somehow just much easier to deal with than with digital. Now, don't get me wrong, I love the super clean image that you get with digital, but when it does break up, it's like dropping off a cliff. There's not a lot of warning, and it gets horrible very quickly. HD0 is better than DJI at handling this because it tries to emulate the way that analog video breaks up. But I still don't really like it. Analog is just so much more, well, analog in the way that it degrades. And if you've been looking, you'll find there's quite a variety of new high power VTXs available to meet this new demand. This is the new Maton 5.8 gig 2.5 watt VTX from Gap RC that claims to have a transmission signal that's very stable and the penetration ability is excellent. Let's have a closer look. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Black channel. Now this two and a half watt VTX is all wrapped up inside this very nice alloy CNC shell that's basically just a big heatsink which is pretty necessary with these higher power VTXs. It's got a standard 30.5 by 30.5 millimeter mounting with M3 holes so you'll have no problems fixing this in a quad or a wing but you will need lots of airflow if you're running at the higher power settings. There's this button on the side here that allows you to manually select the channel band and power and these LEDs show the settings but of course you can control all this using smart audio and as usual there's the various combinations of short long and longer presses on the button to select whatever you need you get 72 channels and the power is switchable between 25 200 600, 1600 and 2500 milliwatts or 2.5 watts and you get pit mode as well. Now you can power this directly from your battery at anything between 7 and 36 volts so that's realistically 2 to 8s and this really does cater for the bigger long range and heavier drones and wings that have those larger batteries. And don't forget, on 2.5 watts, this will draw a lot of current and get hot, so take care how you mount it. This whole thing weighs 18 grams, and it has got a built-in microphone. And in the box, you get the VTX, you get this monopole MMCX antenna and an MMCX to SMA connector. There's a little mounting cable in here somewhere. Let's get it out for you. Oh, oh. Why is that so difficult to get out? You get a little cable that plugs into there. So you can wire everything up. And there is some mounting hardware as well. You also get this little manual that, despite being small, does seem to cover absolutely everything. That size in Chinese, that size in English. There we go quite a lot in there and that's all on the website as well interestingly one thing i noted was somebody's got some calibration figures on here not sure exactly what that's for but who knows it's nice to see that somebody's been testing it and one thing i do really like is the fact they're using mmcx connectors which are very secure and designed to be inserted lots of times ufl connectors are small and light but they're only really rate for about 30 mating cycles and MMCX connectors are good for at least 500 so these are much more durable. By the way the price on this is $52.99 direct from the Get RC website and I'm sure it'll be available from your favourite suppliers as well. And one other thing that Get RC have supplied is this Momoda 2 5.8 gig dual antenna which is specifically designed for long range 
It's a right-hand circularly polarised dual antenna with 3.8 dB of gain. And according to their specs, practical testing has shown significant improvement in stability and a reliable image over a longer range. So if long range is your thing, this is definitely worth taking a look at. It only costs $13. It's going to be difficult to test in the UK, in my environment, but uh, got to be worth a try, I think. So the thing to remember is that a 2.5 watt VTX won't give two and a half times the range of a one watt VTX. It just doesn't work like that because it's a log scale. Practically, that means that if you say got a 25 milliwatt transmitter and you want to fly twice as far with the same received signal, you'll need four times the power or 60 B, which would be a hundred milliwatt VTX. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts on this and if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful give me a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe and if you're on facebook or instagram you can follow me there as well thanks for watching and i'll see you next time